Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Natasha Plazaki from Mart Recipes and More, crew member for Canvas Corp creative team. Uh, today I have prepared a video for you where um, I will show you how to create an interesting background that uh, looks like a brick wall. For this project um, I experimented with glimmer mists and uh, I used some glimmer glaze and at the end some color wash paint. Uh, of course I had to uh, to use uh, a few other products, texture paste uh, transparent mat and uh, uh, a brick uh, wall uh, stencil to help me create uh, the texture. This is the finished uh, background. This is how it looks. It really looks very natural. It's very beautiful. I love it. Here's a tag. Another one. I will be working on a mixed media paper. This is heavy mixed media paper, 400 uh, GSM. We've got our glimmer mist. I am using coral reef and I'm going to spray over the whole tag. I don't mind having these splashes, of course, because it's gonna be covered. Now, I will pour some Glimmer Glam, and this is Sangria. And I'm gonna spread it with a brayer. Look at that. Look, this is a beautiful red color. Okay, now let's give it a dry. Now that uh, the tag is uh, dry, we're going to make a mixture with a uh, transparent uh, uh, texture paste and uh, glimmer glam. Now we've got a beautiful, rich color. Okay, and I will use our stencil. We don't want it to, we don't want to have a, a perfect uh, impression of the stencil. And we go through through the stencil with the paste. Right. You see how beautiful this is? Beautiful, very, very beautiful texture. Now, uh, we will have to let uh, the paste dry. We can dry it with a heat gun, but of course you have to do it from a distance and be careful because um, the paste uh, may bubble up uh, with the heat. So we'll let this one dry and I'll be back. Uh, if you want to not to have uh, such a bright red color, but you want to tone it down a bit, you can use a darker uh, color of glimmer mist and spray all over it. Like this one, Dijon, which I like very much. It's a beautiful color. And uh, while, while it's wet, of course, you can spray it a bit and tone down that bright red color so that uh, you have a, a, a more natural look. And look, all those splashes 
these are wonderful and will add uh, more to your surface after this is dry. So let's do it like that. It's beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay, now we have to let it dry. Now it's completely dry. We can go on, we can move on to our next step. And this is to make uh, the grooves uh, among, uh, between the tiles, make them look darker so that the bricks will pop out. Uh, I'll be using simply sheer uh, mist. And this is uh, pure steel. We're going to use um, a fine tip brush, but nothing um, special. You don't have to use an expensive brush for that. Uh, for this effect, uh, you um, have to use a transparent paste. You cannot use a white paste because you would need tons of colors to turn white base to such a dark red color. Now I'm going to use my brush, dip it in the mist and start going. It's not a difficult thing to do and if you go, if you hit some of the bricks that's okay because it will only look more natural. We cannot use this dark color uh, as uh, our first layer because the paste is transparent and if uh, we put it on top of a dark uh, background it will become even darker so we will lose all this beautiful red color. So let's give it a quick and dry. You see that because we haven't um, applied the paste evenly and we don't have a perfect impression of uh, our stencil, all those um, imperfections here make our background look so natural, so realistic. As it dries, I see that there are some um, places I would like to make even darker, so I will repeat. Um, I will repeat this process with the dark paint and my um, brush, and make them even darker. Give them a second coat so that they become darker. Let's dry it a bit. Okay, so really this is it. It's done. It's very easy, but it's very beautiful. After I finished with the dark color, um, I used some color wash. This one is a patina for finish. And uh, I went over the sides where there's no uh, stenciling but uh, it really gave me this very very interesting effect um, that I really like and it made my design pop even more so you can do that if you like just give a good shake to the paint this is color wash paint patina for finish I found this uh, metallic look very, very beautiful. So you can do that. And you can do it like that, leave puddles of color. That makes it very beautiful. This metallic look is so great. It contrasts so beautifully with the brick wall and I like it so much. My tag is ready. Look at this, guys. 
They're really awesome. I love them very much. I love uh, the look, the effect. You can use this um, effect uh, on any surface you wish. You can use it uh, on tags, you can use it on cards, on ATCs. You can even use it uh, to make um, journal inserts. Uh, you can use it in your art journal to make a spread, to make a page. These little pieces are from uh, this uh, stash pack. Uh, it's called Create. And uh, I cut several pieces from different pages and uh, composed my own embellishments. They were not like that in the pack. I cut and glued and create my own embellishments and quotes. Have a good time and happy crafting. Bye-bye.